Hey, welcome to Baltimore soon enough, not quite yet. Just curious, uh, what are you doing to... Um... Hello? Okay, try, try again. Curious as to what you're doing to, to uh, get used to the playbook, um, stay in shape, and how much are you looking forward to catching that first pass from Lamar? Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, studying on my, on my own. My mom's in nursery school right now, so I'm kind of feeding off her study habits, you know, some stuff that she does for memorization. And uh, it's been working, uh, taking a lot of notes, using a lot of note cards, staying on my iPad. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to, you know, to get, get to Baltimore and, uh, you know, kind of put my feet on the, uh, on the ground and, and hit the ground running. Uh, you know, I just, I'm ready to get to work, man. There's no... No glitz and glam about me. Just ready to uh, get up there and uh, do my job. Have you uh, been in contact with Lamar at all? And uh, how excited are you for that prospect? Uh, no, I haven't been in, in, uh, in contact with him yet. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm excited to get to work. Um, not really excited about any individual. I'm excited about, you know, what you know, our team as a whole could do. Uh, and I'm just ready to uh, go in and see where I fit in and uh, do my part to the best of my ability. Well, thank you much. Hey, James, this is Sean Stepner uh, from WMAR ABC TV in Baltimore. Congrats on getting drafted. Um, what, I was wondering, what, what's a normal day look like for you and the rest of the rookies here? Um, you know, what, what? how much time do you – devote to you know the online virtual stuff with coach and Roman and and all that stuff uh so you know I wake up in the morning uh about six thirty seven, uh so I can get some uh, my workout on time and then I'll come back home and eat and I'll put in about two hours uh uh two to two and a half hours uh depending on you know my understanding uh of what I'm trying to learn that day uh so it's I'll spend probably 30, 45 minutes with uh, my special teams, uh, special teams assignments, trying to get those down. And then I'll have an, uh, another workout and I'll come home, eat, and kind of do the same thing, uh, have another uh, hour and a half to a two hour session uh, about on my plays. Uh, and then, you know, just uh, rinse and repeat. Hey, James, it's uh, Kirk McEwen from 98 Rock, Ravens Game Day. 111 balls for 1,225. Uh, did, did you get double teamed? Did they try and did coaches try and take you away? How were you able to get so many balls? Uh, where's that one two come from? Uh, for sure, yeah, I got a lot of double teams, a lot of triple teams, you know, to the boundary, to the field. But you know, my, uh, we got a lot of weapons on the field. Xavier Jones in the back, but we got Reggie uh, on the other side, Myron Gallery, Gio Bell, Tyler Page. Uh, Rasheed Rice, a freshman, stepped up for us. We had a lot of guys who kind of took the attention off me uh, and made plays uh, when they needed to. Um, also, my, you know, my OC did a good job of uh, moving me around and giving me uh, good matchups. And uh, you know, I'm just – but what it boils down to, I'm a competitor, man. Uh, that's kind of – that's what they're going to put on my gravestone. That's something I've always uh, thrived off of is, is competition. And, uh, you know, the higher the challenge, uh, the higher I rise. Uh, so – it is one on one. I'm gonna I'm, I'm come ready for one on one. It's one on two or one on three. I'm gonna come ready. I just I'm gonna do my job to to the highest level and keep it uh, black and white. Congratulations. Appreciate you. James, hey, James. it's uh, Mark Viviano <laughs> from uh, WJZ in Baltimore. Congrats to you. Thank hey, you. it's it's a it's it's an honor and accomplishment for anyone to get drafted. Mm -hmm. But within the group of guys who get drafted, if you're a lower round pick, some guys take that as a extra motivation. What's your perspective on where you were picked and whether that matters going forward? Uh, I try to keep a long term mindset of uh, things, kind of look at the bigger picture. Uh, you know, the greatest player to uh, play this game is uh, pick 199. So uh, I try to take that mindset and, uh, you know, look at his journey and um, kind of map that out. You know, I know. That, you know, God is <laughs> God has never made any mistakes in my life, uh, you know, good or bad, you know. And, you know, I try to keep a good perspective. At the end of the day, I got drafted. You know, that's what I, I pray for. That's what I work for. Now it's up to me to, uh, you know, take care of uh, the rest. And um, 
make sure that uh, I outplay them in the draft spot. So that's, uh, that's my plan. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, James. Pete Gilbert from WBAL in Baltimore. And I'm curious, when you think of your game relative to what the Ravens do, is they're so run heavy and wide receivers are so critical to the run game and being physical, is that something you did much of at SMU? And how much is that something you feel that it can be a positive in your game? For sure, yeah. Uh, somebody alluded to that one two uh, earlier, kind of where that comes from. Uh, you know, I said I'm a competitor, and you know, I just don't compete when the ball's coming my way. I compete every play, every down, uh, uh, with 40 yards down the field, you know, coming down the slide, and you know, putting my body into a linebacker so uh, so Mark and JK can spring. So I'm gonna come in and do my job, do whatever uh, team needs me to do at a high level. James, I'm sorry, you, you broke up a little at the beginning of that. Would you mind repeating that answer? Yeah, for sure. Um, it, it, I was just short enough. Basically, it's come down to competitiveness and want to, man. I try to compete uh, in every aspect of my game, uh, whether if you want me at PP or punt return, kick return, uh, slot outside, whatever you need me to do, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to compete. And uh, blocking is a huge part of the game. I, I like to think of myself as a complete receiver. Um, and, you know, that comes with it. So if, if there's something to be good at in, in, in the wide receiver position, I want to do it to a high level. Thanks so much. James, this is Jameson from ESPN. Uh, you're known for uh, not having that many drops throughout your career. Um, have you always had great hands? Is that something that comes natural? Or where do you think your consistency in catching the ball really comes from? Uh, yeah, a combination of, uh, you know, it was a gift from God and work ethic. Uh, you know, I, somebody, I had an interview earlier and somebody asked the same question. And, you know, um, uh, a pianist uh, only gets great at piano by playing the piano. And that's kind of how I see uh, uh, me catching the ball. You got to keep catching the ball uh, in any types of ways, any situations so that you're prepared. Um, you know, Kobe Bryant always alluded to you, you can never, you know, shoot too many jump shots. Uh, always keeping your knife sharp, and uh, you know, just make sure you're staying ready and staying consistent. Because uh, you know, to be good at anything, it takes consistency, and uh, that's something uh, I try to thrive on. Hey James, it's uh, Mark again at WJZ Baltimore. Uh, you've talked a lot about your competitiveness and your work ethic. So you're doing what you can, but obviously your, your desire would be on the field right now. Do you feel like there's going to be, especially for a rookie receiver, any sort of difficulty, challenge, ground to make up in this position when you're not out there with, uh, with Lamar and with the rest of your guys? Yeah, for sure. Uh, anytime you're going to a new situation, you're new people, uh, it's going to take an acclimation period. But, you know, I just control what I control. That's kind of like my life motto, uh, like putting the work uh, where it's needed, you know, study to where I need it. To, so whenever I can't, I can't get up to Baltimore and, you know, get on the field and get with the guys, then uh, I'm not missing a beat. I'm just kind of fitting in whatever they need me to, to adjust or, or add to my game. Uh, I can do that. But at least I already have, you know, the things I control, you know, my conditioning, uh, my study habits, uh, all those things are the things I control. So uh, once I get up there, everything will be smooth. Gotcha. Hey, James, this is Sean Stepner again from ABC in Baltimore. Um, just wondering your thoughts on uh, your draft class and specifically uh, getting drafted um, with Devin DuVernay. You know, um, you look at the stats from college football this year and right at the top receptions are, are you and Devin. So, um, you know, your thoughts on Devin and the rest of your class. Uh, Devin's a, a great dude, man. He handles his business. A uh, great competitor. Obviously doesn't drop the ball, which is something – uh, I admire. I, I was actually last game um, of the season, uh, their ball game, I forgot who they played, but I was counting every catch he had, every catch, just to make sure, you know, I can, I can keep my receptions record for the year. Uh, but that's just, you know, I'm excited to get get, uh, get with him. It's, it's funny that, you know, I, I was watching him all year because I knew he was on, on track to, you know, lead the country in reception, which he did for, for a little while. Uh, but it's just funny that, you know, we're teammates now, and I'm just looking forward to competing and, uh, and getting Hey, James, this is uh, Aaron Kazan at, at Penn Live. Congrats on getting drafted. You, you mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, you're, you're going out to the field to work out. Uh, what are you able to do? Are you able to still catch passes with the social distancing and stuff? What, 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 what's that like? Can you take us through an average workout for you? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm doing everything I was before. I got, like, my, any quarterback I get to come throw for me, like, it's not like I'm running, but I need to be right next to him. Like, we, we six feet away, throwing, six feet plus away throwing the ball, so we'll, we'll be fine. I'm working out with my little brother. He plays corner at uh, Coffeeville in Canada, uh, junior college. Um, so we're just kind of, you know, getting some live reps with each other, make sure our condition is right. Uh, kind of like getting back to the basics, man. Uh, like I, grinding, like I was trying to get an offer in college. So, uh, it was, yeah, back to the basics. That's really it. Lugo Torres from Spanish, Ravens Spanish Radio. Congratulations, James. I I have a question. Uh, playing the piano, huh? Do you think there is something else fans need to know about you? Uh, I take pictures uh, sometimes. Yeah, I take pictures. Uh, I try to do a lot of film. Um, something I'm working on. Uh, obviously, you know, to be good at anything, it takes a lot of, like I say, poor consistency. And uh, that's not really something I could, you know, give my all to right now. But, uh, you know, being newly drafted, and trying to get the plays down. But once, uh, uh, you know, I get a little free time to kind of do whatever I want, I'm probably going to put all my attention to photography. James, hey, James. Brian Mink yeah, from BaltimoreRavens.com. Uh, just wondering, you know, part of the reason the Ravens picked you was because of your returnability. How much do you enjoy that aspect of the game? Uh, and, and do you envision yourself – competing for punt and kick return duties. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I love punt return. I really just love catching the ball. Anything you need to where I could catch the ball and, you know, go make a play, that's you know, what, I, what I do. Uh, yeah, but, you know, as far as, like, punt return goes, that's something I feel comfortable with, uh, kind of being back there alone, uh, getting, you know, have full control, uh, judge the ball, and you know, showcase my abilities uh, once I once I so I'm, I'm extremely excited about uh, having being put in that role uh, with the Ravens organization. You know, like I said before, I'm doing to the best of my ability. Hey, James, James follow-up question for you, real quick, James. Uh, you, you didn't attend, or you didn't run the forty at the combine. Can you tell us what what your forty would be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably run the four five range somewhere around there. James, um, asking you two questions dating back to high school. Um, how much uh, did you talk to teams about the kidney issue you had and, and um, how did that kind of change the course of, uh, of your life and your career? Um, I talked to every team about the issue uh, just to let them know that it wasn't an issue. Uh, you know, I've never missed a practice or a game at SMU uh, for that reason, for any reason. Uh, so uh, I just, you know, I wanted to reiterate that to team. Uh, but as far as I can I don't really, I try to like, you know, see things as they are, then move on, for, move on from it, see the lessons I can learn. And, you know, lesson I learned from me is that, you know, I'm not invincible. Uh, I've always tried to uh, put my Superman cape on, whether I was in pads or out of pads, you know, never show any weaknesses. And that was just a moment to, uh, to where I had to learn to really lean on uh, my family, uh, the people around me that care about me, and uh, kind of, you know, just, you know, give all my trust to God. Uh, I feel like, as football players, athletes, uh, we tend to reach the point of invincibility, and um, you know, you know, God tends to uh, sh you know show you and humble you in ways uh, that you didn't expect. So I just, you know, I take it as that. And, uh, 